eat in blue for a second. Okay. <laughs> For our main stage events, we're going to be showing you guys a traditional wreathing ceremony, after which we will have a regional costume presentation. Because we didn't have the dance workshop, we weren't able to put together dances for you. We do have one. But we still wanted to show you the various regions and their costumes. So we'll have that, after which we will have a pet hat eating contest, which is sponsored by Four Corners Cafe and Catering, so a big thank you to Jesse Romanition. So we're gonna start the reading ceremony about 1.30. Uh, we will give you guys a five minute warning though before we do that. A moment of silence. wanted to just give you a little bit of background on what the heck you're going to be watching up here. Um, the wreathing ceremony um, comes from the cultural importance of wreath making in Ukraine. Uh, traditionally it was something that was done uh, between women for harvest, for your engagement, for your wedding. There were all kinds of uh, different wreaths that you would wear throughout the year for different events in your life. For our dance organization, um, the coming of age at 13 represents when you would go from dancing with the little kids to dancing with the adults. And with that, you would get your velvet jacket, your corsetka, and you would get your big flower wreath. You would go from the little tiny bunches of flowers on each side of your head to a big floral wreath that you would make with your friends and family. So the three wreathers today, it is actually not their wreathing year. Their wreathing years were supposed to be a couple of years ago, and like I said, because of COVID, they missed it. So when we decided to do this event, a couple of them reached out and asked if we would do a wreathing. Um, some of these girls danced since they were four or five years old, and so it was something they had always looked forward to and were very sad to miss, and we are so happy to be able to give that to them today.
Indian dance. It's the traditional wreath, the corsetka, traditionally from Central Ukraine. The men's costumes are fashioned after Kozak fashion. And it looks like we have a guest star today. I think he was a he was a last minute stand in. Show us what you got. Wow, okay. So as you can see, the style of dance for these men is very acrobatic. Well, women have traditionally showcased grace and beauty, often dancing very technically and in unison. Give us a bow, guys. For the cameo, wave to your fans, Max. Katya are donning our women's Hutzel costumes today. Hi, ladies. When we think Hutzel, we think mountains. Say hey, Hutzel dance is very, very fast. It usually involves fast feet, fast hands. How does jig style? Solos, ready to bust them out? No, four years is too long without practice. Okay. <laughs> How about just a turn? There we go. Bless your form. Thank you, Hutzel. Okay, up next, Buko. When we think Transcarpathian, we think bouncy. She's got the flowing skirt. She's got the full petticoat. Everything about Transcarpathian is flowing, cheerful. Give us one more fast spin. There you go. You can see why um, our costumes for Enduda also include a pair of bloomers. Because your skirts do fly up. Weston, you got anything for us? <laughs> Says you don't pay me enough for this. I'm not paying you at all. Next up in our showcase, we have Bukovinia. I don't know about you former dancers, but this was always my favorite costume. They've got a lot of like stamping, pitching your foot. Yes, and of course the jingles on the hat and on the necklace. So Bukovina is actually located in the Chernitsi Oblast. It's southwestern Ukraine. And I didn't know this until I looked up stuff for this fashion show, but the actual Bukovina traditional outfit weighs 12 and a half pounds. That authentic on a 90 degree day. Good, he's ready. There he is. Another hand for Weston. <laughs> Next up, we have Volin region. For Volin, it's similar to Poltava, but with a very flowy skirt. And this is always, I thought, more of like the jester version of Poltava. Very humorous, very lighthearted. Or not really technical dances, but dances that show, uh, tell a story. We'll use golden costumes because they have a little bit more moxie. Very good. Woo! All right, Weston, let's see those ankle breakers again from earlier. No? Okay. Another hand for our performers. A trophy and a cash prize today. So for first place, we have a very lovely pet ahead trophy. We'll go to the first place along with 50 crisp dollars. Second place, a $30 cash prize, and $20 for the third place contestant. It starts 
Now. Merchandise, do that. 